So I want to talk about responsibility and being irresponsible. OK, this is something that is really, I would say, really important to work on, especially for those that are struggling with being an adult, which sounds a bit crazy. But it's something I come across a lot where people are really struggling with adult responsibilities and maybe acting like the grown up they are and being mature and being sensible. Um, and a lot of people struggle with this, even though they might be parents with several children and a really good job that has taken them years in professional um, study to get, you know, just be, I'm not just referring to sort of 22 year olds that have just come out of university or, or their first job or whatever, where they're still grasping with the idea of being an adult. Um, there are many, many fully grown adults that I've come across. And by that, I mean people in their 30s, early 40s that are still struggling with, with themes like responsibility and being sensible and acting grown up. And so this might touch on things like um, buying a property uh, and getting a mortgage. It might be settling down, having the kids conversation, um, you know, things like that that sound like very grown up and they're resisting this adulthood. They're resisting taking on responsibility. That's what all this is tied to. It's responsibility. Um, and so we can resist responsibility, even though we might have a very responsible job and we have children that we are responsible for, we might still be resisting this responsibility. And therefore the responsibilities that we do have, we're, we're kind of, you know, we're trying to like shake them off all the time, but th this doesn't happen. You can't just shake kids off and you can't shake your job off. And so how that, how's that gonna show up? That's gonna show up with friction with the kids. That's gonna show up with you not being entirely comfortable, happy, successful in your work because you're not, going all in with it, right? You are resisting it on some level. Um, and so responsibility is a is a really, really, um, I would, if you haven't done this clearance, then you need to do this clearance because um, it, it touches on so many aspects. And, you know, when you think about safety, for example, you think about being sensible, then responsibility is tied into that. You know, somebody who's responsible isn't careless and stupid and foolish because that would be irresponsible and dangerous and whatever you know if you're driving a car carelessly then that's irresponsible and you could die or they could die someone you know it's all very serious okay so this theme of responsibility touches on so much um, it also touches on freedom when you think about people that that strive for freedom and they want to be free to do what they want to do uh, I feel like I could break into song at that point. Um, and yet they don't really change their lives enough for them to really enjoy freedom because then they would have responsibility over their lives and decisions, key decisions that they would have to take charge with. And, you know, and, and, and they don't they can't cope with that responsibility over their own life. So many people are quite happy in the rat race because they don't need to make any decisions. They just have to follow the path and go to work and commute and do all that because then they don't have to make big decisions. They can just, the money just arrives in their bank account and it's all okay. Um, as opposed to people that decide maybe to leave the rat race and set up on their own, that is quite terrifying for many that are in a job, in the safety of a job, because having to be responsible for going out and getting the money is too much responsibility, right? So they shy away from that. So they might stay in jobs, therefore, that they're not happy in. Um, so this, this responsibility is just, it has so many spokes, let's put it that way, that um, and they will reveal themselves to you once you, let, you wade in and do a clearance like this. Because when you start doing a clearance like this, you will start becoming aware of, well, being responsible, I don't like it because it, 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 if I'm irresponsible, then I'm careless. Okay, so careless is a useful one for you. Oh, maybe it's silly and I don't want to look silly. Oh, you don't want to look silly. Right, okay, is that tied to looking stupid um, or being silly or being foolish? Do you not want to look the fool? You want to look like someone who's responsible, who has got credibility and who will, who commands the presence as opposed to somebody that doesn't have that and looks a little bit foolish. What's wrong with looking foolish? Sometimes looking the fool 
is really powerful and the fool as an archetype is incredibly potent and um and effective and a lot of people you think of some politicians that really work that archetype like crazy i'm thinking of somebody like boris johnson for example so you know being foolish looking foolish some people tap into the energy that that, that offers whereas others resist it massively and they don't want to look foolish they don't want to look irresponsible they don't want to look careless because for them being responsible is super important they value it highly so if you value responsibility this is a really important clearance for you to do because you are there's a lot of stuff tied in here for you which could effectively mean that you can't fully own your responsibilityness <clears throat> if that's a word and i'm sure you know what i mean but also you you really shy away from being irresponsible but i'm sure that there are many times in your life where you are deeply irresponsible and maybe you do it without you know without kind of you're doing it as a reaction, as a, maybe, you know, you you let, you let go every now and then and you literally do something that's really irresponsible. And because most of the time you're trying so hard to be responsible and serious and sensible, but that takes so much energy to contain that because it's not who you are. You're basically just doing this with something and then every now and then you're like, oh, I can't hold it anymore. And then you fly off the other end and you go and be irresponsible and careless and silly. So when you kind of dissolve this tension that resides at the responsibility end, then it's not, you're not kind of holding it together like that. And then you can kind of dance with it a lot more. One minute you can be responsible, next minute you can be irresponsible from one minute to the next and you can choose. It's this ability to choose between states and to be mindful about your behavior moment by moment, which gives you this um, ability to be really flexible to respond to life as it comes your way. Whereas when we are holding this stuff together because there's all this energetic tension, we haven't got, you know, when you think about holding something like that and it's taking up all your focus and strength, then if you have to change direction, oh, it's all a bit too much and you might drop everything and all goes to shit. So you don't, you you try and predict where you're going. Whereas if you're like, way, I can go wherever I want, you know, like you're like this, because you are fluid, you are flexible, you can respond then you can adapt and roll with the punches that life throws your way because life does throw punches. So it's how resilient do you want to be? How, how able do you want to be to respond to this stuff that is likely to throw you off your perch? Um, and if you can kind of like, you know, if the wind can like knock your perch and you're like, yeah, yeah, you can knock it all you like, honey. I ain't moving because I've got my strong inner core and I can bend with this. Or you haven't done your core exercises and somebody wobbles it, you just fall over. So this is about building some strong inner core to your, your emotional self and key values and ways of being such as responsibility versus irresponsibility is a really good way to go to help you to do that. Um, and um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say on the matter for now. But yeah, if you're somebody struggling with being an adult, this is a great place to start with your clearances. Okay, good luck. <laughs>